I determined if I win or lose. None of y'all walking inside my shoes. I'm betting you couldn't handle the pressure it put on you. I'm special and anybody who know me, they know the truth. I'm coming in. Ain't nobody who living gonna see me snooze. What's good? It's your girl, Sasha Go Hard, and I'm so from the go. It's your boy, King Pan Roo. What up? It's Abe Orca. Yo, what's up? It's King Malik. It's Dante Rose. What's good? It's your girl, Sasha Go Hard. I'm straight from the go. And I'm so from the go. When I first got booked for a show, um, it's crazy because I didn't even get paid for it. Like, imagine music always been like something that I really wanted to do. Like, just first of all, I always was a kid that did everything. I used to do hair. I used to do. I used to dance. I used to work on computers, and so music was something extra that uh, I just out of the blue just wanted to do. So when I started doing it um, and just seeing all the feedback and it was just fun to be in the studio making music. So, but the moment that I knew like it was real is when I got booked uh, for a show. It was, it was like four people in the audience, but just being on stage and just like these people wanted me here. Like, you know, like I'm not even big yet, you know, like, but I always just been humble and had that mindset. Like I'm a star, so. It ain't even like take for me because I, I feel like that even with everything I accomplished, I still have a lot to do, you know, like so every everything that I, I, I do slash the is just like, OK, I'm a star. I'm number one on the track. trying too hard, lying, denying. When I first started doing music, like I consider myself a drill rapper. Like, you know, people looked at me as a drill rapper because the type of music that I was talking about, the things that I hear in my video, you know. I got tired of talking about the same type of stuff or, you know, so I just knew that I could be bigger than that. Like, or just I was capable of writing different type of music. Like, you know, and, and I also, like I said, I love music, so I wanted to like, jump into the pop, jump into the EDM, um, the love songs, like, and I learned that by me doing that, it got me in so many different, I mean, got me so many different opportunities, like, so I could not, like, let myself remain a drill rapper, so that was my beginning days. I'm not a drill rapper now. I'm not the drill queen. I don't claim none of that, so. To this day, I would say, Katie Gat Benz, definitely, uh, she holds the Drill Queen title from Chicago. Katie been drilling since drilling, been drilling. Big ain't feelings. Been to go hard like Sasha on these hoes. Stand up tall and squash them with the flow. As far as the guys, I would say, I don't know, I'm not really sure about the guys because it's so many guys, you know, like talk, talk about who still to this day, and who back then still to this day talk about drill. But yeah, like, but as far as the females, like, you know, cause I feel like it's more gay rappers than female rappers from Chicago or coming out of Chicago, I don't know. But yeah, Katie got bands for the females and a few people for the guys. <laughs> so I think that it's cap um, for anybody to say that well, anybody outside of Chicago to say that they invented drill. You know, like, everybody know that it, it really came from Chicago. So that's definitely cap. But, like, say you created a different word. I mean, make up a new word of drill. You know, like, but don't say drill. Like, this Chicago sh That's common sense. My experience on MTV Sucker Free, uh... It was raw because I used to watch other people's videos on there. So for them to play my video on us, like, wow, it was dope. It was real dope. My experience on Rhythm and Flow, it was like the first time I ever did something like that regarding like having to be on point. Like I never was pushed to have to be on point. Like, you know, you could be the rawest rapper ever, but the moment you forget a land, the moment you, you know, you mess up, it's like, okay, you, you, you blew it, you know? But it was, it was a good experience. Like I met a lot of different artists from around the world. You know, I was on Netflix, still on Netflix, you know? 
and it was dope. Like it was dope. A lot of things that I never been to, been through happened when I was on set, off off set, you know. But it was it was a blessing. Like I'm I'm happy that I was on there. A lot of people was mad because I didn't make it at the end, but I'm happy. Music that I listen to um, that influenced me to hop in the industry, I would say Missy Elliott, Little Kim, um, TLC, Aaliyah. I feel like uh, women in the rap, uh, hip, the rap hip hop industry, raw as hell. Like it's very, it's sexy, it's hard. Like I love female artists, like because we, like we really can do anything. You know, like we could, we could talk about a lot of stuff. We could have more fun being an artist. Like you know, changing our hair and image and do, being cre creative with videos. Like you know, I love how we getting more females getting noticed. You feel me? Like and just like really blooming in the in the light. So, we killing shit, for real. We ain't finna argue, you diva b***h, and we'll have your soul playing like stars. What's wrong with, uh, Dreezy? I'm not a hitter. I think we was just like, because, you know, before she, like, really blew and moved out of Chicago, we was really close um, and together and stuff. So, I think we was just talking about work, and then, you know, we heard the beat, and it just came out how it did. Here you go again. <laughs> Both. Both. Okay. I yeah, I love Dreezy, my fave, but Tink, like, Tink, we're all too. Like, she's very talented, and she's been, like, talented since I found out about her. My advice for people who's trying to be professional in a rap game do it because it's something that you want to do. If you're doing it because you want to do it and it makes you happy, you love it. Everything else flows so smoothly. Um, stay consistent. You know, it costs none to write music. Stay consistent. Uh, grind because you're going to need money to do what you got to do. You know, uh, stay out your feelings. <laughs> There's no feelings in this business. You know, you got to accept things for what it is. Like, you know, you might not agree with, you know, some stuff, but don't, don't let it distract you or discourage you or push you in a negative way because, and I'm speaking on this because I have done it in my beginning years and I had to learn, you know, so, and just, just, just do it because you want to do it, you know?